A game of chess has up to three different stages. The opening, the middle game, and the end game. All of them require quite a lot of studying and preparation in their own way. But in today's video, we're going to talk about a very specific position in the end game known as trebuchet. We're going to start by looking at the core concept of trebuchet. In this position, we have king and a pawn against a king and a pawn. And essentially, trebuchet is mutual zugzwang. And what that means is that whoever's turn it is, they're going to lose the game. So, for example, it's white to play in this position. And you're going to notice that, well, we have to make a move. We cannot move the pawn because it's blocked. So we have to move the king. But wherever we move the king, we're going to lose this pawn. So, for example, let's say I go king g4. Now black is going to take the pawn. And we're in a lost endgame. We, we cannot do anything to stop this pawn from promoting. Let's say we try king g3. Black is going to say... Okay, I'm not going to let you go to the to the promoting square. I'm going to prevent that opposition, also known as shouldering. King g2 trying that same thing, maybe king f1, king e1, but black plays king e2. Opposition again, and after this, black just pushes the pawn and eventually wins. Now black can step away because this king is protecting these two squares and just promotes and wins this game. That's if it's white to play. So white to play, white lost. But what happens if it's black to play? If it's black to play... Once again, you cannot move this pawn. You have to move the king. So let's say black goes king c5. Now white takes the pawn. And same thing. We get to something similar like this. White starts pushing the pawn. At some point, white steps away, promotes, and wins this game. Now that we know the core concept of trebuchet, it's easier to evaluate some endgames, such as this one. In this position, it's white to play. And I want you to answer the following question. With best play from both sides, of course. What will the result be? White to play. Is it going to be a win for white? Is it going to be a draw? Is it going to be a loss for white? Pause the video. Okay, I hope you pause the video. In this position, white, it doesn't make sense to not take the pawn. If you don't take the pawn, you're going to lose your own pawn either way. So king takes h6 has to be played. King takes c3. And already here, you can sense that something's wrong for white. Whose king is closer to the pawns? Black. So already here you can sense maybe white is going to lose. And that is actually correct because after king g5, black plays king d3. Very important move. If you go king d4 now, it's white who's winning because white plays king f5 and it's black's turn. Do you remember this position? This is trebuchet, the core initial position of trebuchet. Mutual zugzwan. Black has to make a move and black loses because black loses the pawn. So black forces the white king to go to f5, there's no other way to protect this pawn. And now goes king d4, and now it's white to play. So white loses king d4, king takes e4, and eventually that pawn is going to promote to a queen. So black wins. Another important thing for this concept is the king placement. In this position, you might think this is trebuchet because we have the same pawn structure, and we do have a king on d5, but a black king is on f6 rather than on f4. And that changes everything. It's black to play. Black will have to make a move. And black will lose the pawn. King takes e5. But essentially the reason why this is no longer losing. Is because black now can have the opposition. But black takes the opposition. And the reason why this is so powerful. Is because black will never let white. The white king to get active. So you're going to follow that king. And that's going to be a draw. King f5. King f7. As soon as white pushes the pawn. Now that's, that's even an easier draw black eventually will force what we call a stalemate however an even more important note is that the black king needs space to draw like in this position but if we were to move all pieces up one square this would not be a draw anymore for black so let's take a look at that king f8 king takes e6 king e8 black takes the opposition and thinks this is a draw but now it no longer matters if you've studied endgames, you're going to know that if the pawn and the king are in the 5th and 6th rank, opposition no longer applies. It's no longer saving the game for black. Let me show you. King d6. Black is going to continue having uh, taking the opposition, sorry. Pawn to e6, king e8. And you just push. And the reason why this is not a draw is because black doesn't have space to go king e9. It, it doesn't exist. Black has to move out. And now this is a win. If we were 
to have space, for example, here, it's black to play, black goes back. And now this is a draw, because of king d8, you push the pawn, this is a stalemate. And other than that, you cannot, you cannot make progress for, for white. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more endgame videos, if you have any questions, any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe, give a like, I would really appreciate it, and have a nice day.